There is also the importance of uh, playing the themes. Um, I heard that some people just learn the chord progressions and then they solo over it, but they cannot play themes, which seems like a very strange idea to me. I don't think I met anyone like that, but I heard some people do that, and I don't think it's a great idea. I think it's good to learn melodies too, because they compose and because they belong to a song. You know, when you improvise over a chord progression, there is always the, the melody going on. Um, and also, the melody can be interpreted many different ways and can be uh, manipulated and be part of the solo. The example I'm going to show is on Dark Eyes. Um, Both three notes have so much character and they are so powerful. So it goes on the A7 and on the D. So on any song, like on a minor blues, one can use that kind of stuff, you know? So it's possible to, to you, there's some understanding of like something, of like a piece of music that happens that is like more profound than just like thinking about it like that rationally. It's just like, from a position of a chord, something happens, something melodic and stuff, and that thing gets very strongly implanted in the consciousness. And then when you play, you don't realize, but like all these melodical things from learning the melodies, they reappear. And also it's um, a thing that's possible is to work on like manipulating rhythms and stuff from the, from the melody. For example, um, let's play uh, Dark Eyes. So I'm gonna start with a simple melody and then like make it a bit more and more complicated. One, two, three. from very simple to like the octaves, the polyrhythms and stuff, it's still the melody, but see if... I take that as an anchor to develop like phrases and motifs and stuff like that. Uh, and. Uh, That kind of phrase that can serve as an anchor for like moving harmony around like that. <laughs> 